Hey, welcome to Totori. Bienvenidos a Totori. I'm Nathan in German Key. Hi, welcome to Ninja Monkey. I'm Nathan and I'm in Totori in Japan. And I thought I'd talk a little bit about my experience here, what I think about the place, what I recommend, etc. Totori is a really quiet sort of town, city, and um, it basically st everything stem seems to stem from the, from the station. The station is definitely the most busy part, but even that is really quiet. So the first thing that you'll experience when you get to Totori station is how quiet it is. It doesn't seem to be like a major city, you know, it's not like a major city um, station. It's just a quiet station. So the very first thing that I did was I headed to the sand dunes. So I actually didn't know there was going to be a chairlift, like a, a, a chairlift to get to the sand dunes. My plan was actually to get to, to come here tomorrow, but because it might rain or the weather might be worse tomorrow, I decided to just um, jumpstart my Totori trip and head straight to the sand dunes, which is where I am right now. Um, it's a very short trip actually on the chair on the on the chairlift thingy. It's 300, it's 200 yen one way or 300 yen both ways. So I've actually got the 300 yen. Um, thingy. So. Konnichiwa. So what I did was I actually flew my drone, but I've been having problems importing the the footage. So I don't know even if I if I'm gonna be able to put any drone footage. But hey. So, um, I want to fly the drone here, it's quite cool. I'm quite impressed with the sand dunes so far. But um, there was a sign saying to call a number to get permission. And I've been on the phone for like 15 minutes trying to communicate with the guy. Um, and at the end, he's just said to go to the, to the um, visitor center, which is where I'm gonna go right now and see if I can clear it up. If not, I won't fly the drone, obviously. <laughs> This is the area I can fly. Okay, that's the area I can fly. Taijobu. Okay. So I can fly, fly area and the rest, no. Taijobu, hi. Okay, Taijobu. Wakarimasu. Wakarimashita. Okay, fun. So I've actually got permission to fly the drone. It wasn't as difficult as I thought. It was worth coming down. The lady was really nice. Basically, um, <laughs> You have to fly it with a wind speed less than five kilometers an hour. So she checked on the computer and it was like one point something kilometers an hour. So she said, OK. And then um, apart from that, um, there's an area that's designated for, for drone flying, which I think is pretty neat. Um, she pointed out where I couldn't fly and she gave me a map circled where I could fly. She also um, explained to me about flying. Sorry, I need to figure out where I'm going. <laughs> She also explained to me uh, about not flying over people. There's, a, there's um, some instructions in English. I had to fill out a form with my name, my contact details, the type of drone I was, I'm gonna use, etc. So I think it's pretty sweet. Um, main rules were not to fly over people and to keep to the designated um, flight zone. So I think it's quite been quite successful that I've come here today to do this. I was a bit worried that they were going to tell me that I had to do this in advance, but um, she was rather kind. And I think that more places need this sort of thing, you know, where you can fly your drone, but you just need to get permission and they need to be aware of who, who's, who's flying. I think that's, that's the way to go, really.
cima de los Andiums y tenemos unos Andiums bastante parecidos en el sur de España, en Tarifa. Eh, estos son un poquito diferentes, they're a little bit different to the ones back home, where the ones back home are really like the sand is really, really white, well, like lighter than here, no, maybe not white, but lighter than here, and perhaps the color of the sand is a little bit damp, no? So maybe that changes things today, but I have to say that I picked the perfect day because it's been overcast, it's got, it's um, cleared up now, it's quite beautiful, and um, I can imagine it being incredibly hot on a summer's day. So I'm glad that the, the weather's been like this today, to be honest. Um, some thoughts about the place. First of all, it's definitely worth coming. You, there's plenty of little places around the visitor center to eat. So that's where I'm going to be heading now to eat something. Um, probably give yourself an hour, like an hour and a half to explore the area, walk, take photos, that kind of thing. So I'm glad I came. So um, after the sand dunes, which wasn't actually that packed, um, I thought it was going to be like really packed, but it wasn't that packed. It was it was quite quite nice. After the sand dunes, I went to the sand museum and that really, really blew me away. It was really, really cool. So I'd actually seen pictures of the Totori Sand Museum online and you know, the pictures looked, looked nice, but I was really impressed by the actual um, museum itself. It's not until you're there, that you actually realize how big these um, sculptures are, but not only how big the sculptures are, but also how detailed. I mean, they, they were so detailed, incre incredibly detailed. I don't think that any description will be able to do it justice and I'm sure that the video footage will not do the, the place justice. But it's definitely worth the visit and it's probably one of my highlights of Totori so far. plan to go to a temple but I decided to go to the tourist office and ask them what options I had what things they recommended and they gave me some options and I chose the easiest one which was basically to get a 30 minute train to um, Higashiyashi I think it's called and I don't know how I feel about the place. I mean, I don't feel like I've wasted any time, but I think that there are probably better options out there. I know there's a coastline that you can get to, you can um, get a boat tour around the coastline, so perhaps that, that might have been a better option, which I didn't take. But it was still quite nice to head down to the coast and walk along this really beautiful beach, which was um, basically secluded. There was hardly, like literally no one there, like, maybe one family at the end and I was able to fly my drone. It was pretty sweet, pretty nice. I mean, you can check out, check out the footage and see what you think, and you can decide if you're in the area, if it's the kind of place that you might want to go to. So I've come to Higashihama. It's just a beach with a little, little um, village, a little fishing village. About half an hour from Totori, really easy to get to, just a train ride and you're basically at the beach. Um, there was another suggestion to go to like a coastline and, and ride a boat, but it was a little bit more complicated. You had to get a bus, etc. So I really fancied doing something simple, yeah.
I'm back in Dodori. I've just arrived. I've had some lunch, some pink curry, which you can check out in another video that I've put together. So anyway, I hope that this is a sort of a different format of, um, of how I usually vlog, but I thought I'd give it a go. And to summarize, Totori, what do I think of Totori? I think Totori perhaps is a kind of place that you might want to spend the one day at, as in the Totori city. Um, perhaps I made the mistake, I wouldn't say it was a mistake, but perhaps um, two nights was a little bit too much. It's still rainy season, so I've actually been very lucky because the last two days it hasn't rained whatsoever, although it looks like it might start raining any moment now, as I was saying there. What I really like about Totori is that it's your typical quiet Japanese town city um, where you're literally walking down the street and it's very quiet <laughs> and people seem to be quite friendly so yeah Totori not bad not a bad city anyway if you like this video don't forget to thumbs up don't forget to leave a comment below because I want to know your opinions of what I'm doing right and what I'm doing wrong. And also, if you're new to the channel, welcome. And perhaps you might want to subscribe to keep up to date. Don't forget to check out my Instagram. I am updating fr um, frequently, especially when I'm traveling around because it's a lot easier to do Instagram stories. So yeah, see you soon. Bye.